I'm in Ukraine, Eastern Europe, where I follow the trail of a lake monster from its ancient rural roots to the most unlikely modern refuge, the cooling pond of Chernobyl's reactor number four. The creature that locals call a som I know as a Wells catfish, and I've been granted unprecedented access to fish on the pond. While trying to catch bait on light line, my guide Vlad has unexpectedly hooked into something big. What happened? Did the line go? It was a catfish. The fish was almost within reaching distance. I saw that fish. That was a, that was a good sized fish. But something just gave in the in the gear at the end. What was interesting though is it took it took a moving lure. I mean that could be, you know, that one got away. But that could be the way to get them. On well, that kind of lure, but just heavier gear. I'm amazed to see that a Wells catfish has survived just a stone's throw from the reactor. Losing a good fish is always disappointing, but it has given me a vital pointer. I'm going to rig plastic lures on stronger line and cast directly into the turbulent water. I have three days to get a result. Even though I'm fishing from the bank, I'm still making a point of wearing my life jacket because the worst radiation is actually on the bottom of the lake. So I don't really want to be going anywhere near that. a zander, that's what they call a pike perch. And this is a healthy looking fish, so this is surprising, you know, not what you'd expect necessarily in this place. And it's got a healthy set of teeth to match. Ah! Hey. Catfish probably are lying near the bottom. They're not gonna see much down there, they're gonna feel vibrations. Yeah, there's one here. But I can't get through the aggressive Xander. One thing about Xander is they have these very big eyes. They are sight feeders. They're really good at seeing down near the bottom in low light. Frustratingly, though, the bottom of the water column is precisely where I'm working my lures for the catfish. Well, the Xander are getting bigger, at least. It's actually quite a beautiful scene with the sun going down, but that is actually what's left of reactor number four. When I watched this place go up on the television all those years ago, I think the last thing on my mind was that one day I'd be here fishing. The novelty is definitely wearing off now. These things are so active, so hungry. It reminds me a little bit of piranhas in the Amazon just uh, you know, eating the bait or getting to it before anything else can. So these are in my mind now, the piranhas of Chernobyl.